Hey guys, Jake from Full Access UTV. Today, I just want to give you a little tips and tricks, uh, make your KRX run better. Some of you may notice this, some of you may not notice anything, but what you're about to do will only take you 10 minutes, and in my opinion, it's a must-do. We do it to every single KRX that we own, and we do it to the KRXs that we work on, even though half the time we even forget to tell the owners we did it. It's just something you do. Um, Fuel injection. I've been doing fuel injection my whole life with all the racing and the race cars. I've been doing engine conversions, LS conversions. Man, you do fuel injection conversions. I've done so many things over the years and there's one common denominator and it's grounds. Grounds are the most important thing in these computers and in fuel injection. And I know there's a lot of techs right now going, yep, 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 he's right. I mean, these things are controlled by relays and switches. Everything is grounded and switching through these computers um, from your starter. Every single thing needs proper grounds. So when we do these engine conversions, I mean, it's important to go from the battery to the body, from the battery to the frame, and then have multiple jumps. Hey, same thing in UTVs. That's why we're talking about it today. Um, there is an inherent problem with UTVs. They're just being baked in powder coating and stuff, and then they're screwing in the bolts really quick, and it's just quick assembly line stuff. You want to clean these grounds out. So, um, talking to James, too, at JBS, by the way, we're standing in front of the, the crawler KRX. Uh, this thing has James cut sheaves and his clutch weights with the G Boost belt in it. And one of the things James has noticed <coughs> is he did this mod to his car, and he noticed an insane performance improvement. Now, I haven't seen that, but it's somebody I believe that had an issue that resolved it by doing this, and that's just one story, one guy. Um, I have another story of another guy, kept having issues, bringing it to the dealer three different times, um, was having multiple issues, cut down, going to lint mode, and flash LR on the dash, so on and so forth. Um, I recommend he look at the coil packs, take off the little coils, uh, the spades, slide them back on and off. He could use a little, little dielectric grief if he wanted to. And I said, do the grounds. He called me back and said, has never done it again. And he was super stoked. So I guess that's one thing to say too. I am, uh, it, I'm, I'm fortunate to hear a lot of your guys' complaints about these cars, hear your issues, hear your issues with dealers and stuff. But man, if you guys have issues, call me and I'll help you. And um, I just think that's cool. So today, <clears throat> man, I got <clears throat> chicken in my throat. So today I'm gonna show you really quick. This is a 10 minute job and this is how you clean up your grounds and put it back. So I have Tommy call, come on up in here into the KRX. <clears throat> now the first thing you want to do is obviously we are in the driver's side rear corner and the first thing you want to do is disconnect the ground on your battery and then these are the main grounds we're talking about here, here and down here. So pull these out. And these loops are obviously just gonna come right off and you wanna clean off the paint behind these ground loops. The other thing you can do is you can run a, a, an M6 or six millimeter tap in here and I believe it's by 1.25 pitch. You can just run a tap through there to clean up the threads and it'll also remove any, any powder coat and then put those back on. This is your other one too. You wanna to do the exact same thing. You guys, it's as simple as that. Go hook your battery back up and you're done. Um, James says he noticed more power. Uh, I don't know if I notice more power in this car, but it is like more crisp off the very bottom from a dead pedal to into it. I don't know. And you know, some of those things you just go, am I imagining that? Hey, who knows? But hey, simple tech tip and uh, hope you guys do it. Hope you guys like it. Um, if you guys have anything to say about it, uh, if you notice anything, hey, please put it in the comments. And again, click that like and subscribe button. Me and my family much appreciate it. And thanks for watching.